tonight, dog fetches a stick, we make a new field, and things get a bit fruity. Ah, good morning everyone, it's uh, just hit uh, 25 past 8 on the uh, morning of the first day of early autumn. Now you're probably wondering what happened to the last day of spring. Well, not spring, but summer. The last day of summer. Well, um, essentially, what we've done is a fair bit of work up here. We've been uh, cutting down trees and uh, making a bit of a pathway here and uh, preparing to put in some new fields. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do, but uh, if we run up here, we sort of get a better view of it. And uh, we put a path up here onto the sort of higher tier area for when we've got the field in. And essentially this like whole flat area up the top here is probably going to be a field. Now we've got um, we've got our eye on this section of land up here which is about 30 grand. Uh, we may well look at putting a shed or something in here. Uh, or just extending the whole field all the way along. I haven't quite decided yet. Because uh, you know, we've got a fair bit of space to work with. So... And it's kind of a bit slopey, so it might make for a good field. And then, uh, what have we got down here? Because it sort of comes to a, a head. This is the bit of land. Where's the line? There we go. Yeah, this is the uh, piece of land that we own now on the right side. And that's that line there. So yeah, we may uh, may do something down at the bottom here. Uh, maybe put a shed in down here even. And just sort of level this out a bit, knock out some of these trees, and uh, uh, get some sort of sheddage going on in here as a, uh, a sort of storage area for vehicles and stuff. Uh, but yeah, basically, the the big part of what we were doing over that last day of summer was clearing out this area. And uh, as you'll see, we've done quite a lot of work. And uh, we've also got a new trailer. We got rid of the two uh, Fortriot logging trailers and got this one great big old um, bio belt, I believe it is, wooden trailer that uh, also come, uh, we also bought to go with it a um, dolly. I think this is the West Dolly from the West Dolly, uh, the West truck pack or trailer pack. Oh, and a um, weight to put on the back of the dog so that uh, it lifts it up higher because the uh, hitch is down quite low. And I'd found it was pushing a little bit on the um, the back end of the dog, or lifting up the back end of the dog, rather. And that made driving a bit precarious. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've got a lovely new log trailer, so that is fantastic. Um, we are now cutting, uh, I think, 10 or 11 metre logs, um, whacking them up in there. Oh, there's our, one of our lead hairs. Uh Yeah, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of space cleared out here. Uh, we're not completely done yet, but uh, we're doing fairly well. And let me just hop into um, what's in view uh, landscaping mode quick, so you can have a better look. Okay, and if we uh, zoom out, this is our field down here, cornfield. We are still waiting for that to actually ripen. That and the um, soybean back here as well. They're taking quite a long time, or we're just progressing a bit slowly. That's kind of why um, I skipped through day six of summer. Uh, not because we didn't do anything, but um, it was basically just the same stuff that we've been doing for the last couple of episodes. Uh, you know, doing some logging, and uh, yeah, you can see this area up here is clearing out quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, we are going to continue on with this today, and... Uh, uh, get this hopefully um, ploughed out into a bit of a field, or at least down here, because that corn should hopefully come up in the next couple of days. So uh, what I'm basically going to do is sort of enlarge this area, uh, make this field sort of come all the way back here into a bit of a point. In, if I spin around there, uh, sort of up up to this area, basically towards where that path goes up. Just sort of come in, yeah, maybe to a roundabout. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. So we'll come up to about this tree, tree line. Then uh, that'll give us a little spot there. We could maybe put a small shed for some implements or something or other. We'll have to take a look. So yeah, uh, first order of the day is we got some more logs to pick up. Uh, so we're gonna get on with them. Not quite sure why this has got straps over it already. 
but yeah, take that one off. Maybe it was just for security purposes. But uh, yeah, this um, this trailer's been good. Uh, obviously, you can see the money up there has gone up quite a bit. Uh, that is because um, we've taken two or three loads uh, of logs on this trailer now. Uh, some they've been worth. Uh, actually, it might have been a bit more than that. Oh, I forget exactly, but we've been getting like sort of thirty to forty grand per trailer load, give or take. So uh, where are we now? Oh yeah, we're going to need to get that log out of the way at some point. Let's see. Oh, I bet that's what it was. I think I put that um, random bit of driftwood up on the trailer. And uh, where we hadn't actually sold it, it uh, uh, did a thing to it and just evaporated it or returned it back to its position. That could be what that is. So yeah, let's start getting some logs on. And uh, yeah, like I say, we have been doing quite a lot of this, so it's sort of one of those things where, uh, as fun as it is to watch the logging, it's also kind of, th there's a lot of it going on on this series at the moment, and, uh, you know, I don't want to overload you all with just me chopping down trees, and, oh dear, that didn't go well. <laughs> and uh, making a mess and stuff, so, yeah, well carry on with some of this and then we do have to go down to the shop at some point because we are in need of uh, more honey jars in fact we've got um, a box full to empty as well so if I undo that drop that off lovely uh, what I might do is see if our truck can connect the um, uh, Kraz that's down there yeah, we might switch backs out and see if uh, that will connect to this one, to the dolly. Then we can take that off for delivery. And uh, in fact, we could kill about three birds with one stone if we do that, because we've got the. Uh... Did I pick that up? No, I didn't. There we go. Strapped it. Lovely. Uh, yeah, if I um, load the other back onto that, then we can uh, fill it up with. Uh, like I say, we need the. We've got a box of honey to take down, and uh, I'm also thinking we're going to take the fruit down as well. Now it's not full, but the boxes that we have put down. Oh, oh god, that's not in the tall straight. It's so very unstraight. Uh, yeah, the. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the uh, boxes of fruit that we do have, uh, they're all about 50% full, give or take a little bit. So we've basically got um, a full box of each fruit type. So I'm thinking we'll run that down to the shop because we haven't actually put that in to sell yet. So we'll do that and uh, we'll replenish the stock of honey and uh, then pick up um, some fresh honey jars. Uh, I think we've got four or five um, things left to do there with that as well. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, four or five, oh, honeycombs, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I think we've got four or five honeycombs left to uh, process as well. Oh, it's a little twiggy bit there. So uh, we'll give that a shot. And uh, oh, I really need to be around the other side of this, don't I? Oh, yeah, there's the crass. For some reason, I thought it was further away. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we took a uh, full load of 30,000 litres of wood chip over to the. Um, uh, what's that thing called? Um, 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 compost heap as well. Oh, I just totally broke the windscreen on it there. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Thank goodness there's no vehicle damage in this game. <laughs> from stupidity. Uh, but yeah, so um, we took about 30,000 litres of wood chips over to compost. Or to the um, compost heap thing. So uh, that is doing quite well. I'm very happy with that. Oh dear, come on. on you go. No, don't fall. Oh, rude. Well, I guess that's probably quite full. Uh, let's see if I can snag that on the far away side. There we go. I do like that this has straps on it. This has made uh, picking up logs and moving things so much easier. There we go. Yeah, I think that's probably... A very off balance load. Oh my, that's going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? 
Yeah, I need to get load that a little bit better next time. I think the thing with that is the um, the trailer's angled slightly. Yeah, you can see it there. So I've been putting them on the wrong way round. I should put the fat end down here and the thin end up here, and that will balance it out much better. Oh dear. Okay, so where's the straps? Oh, there's one. Come on. There should be another one around here, and one more up this end. There we go. Lovely. So let's unhitch that from the doggo. Uh, get our lovely dog out, out of the way. Uh, and in fact, we do need to get a new bit of equipment for this at some point too. So uh, we might do that while we're down at the store. So I'll just leave this down here for now. Um, yeah, there's uh, an interesting bit of kit that uh, a good friend of mine, Artemis Prime, has uh, sort of recommended, I suppose you could say. And um, it's a, uh, a log blade with... Um, uh, winch on it. Uh, he's used that in a couple of different of his series, and I'll put a link in to, uh, to his channel in the description. So, oh god, I forgot to unhitch the trailer. What a muppet! <laughs> okay. No wonder it wasn't working right. Uh, yes, Artemis Prime. Uh, yeah, he's uh, you know, sort of used this log grab blade winch system thing uh, a number of times across a couple of different uh, of his series as well and um, it, it basically looks like it'll be perfect for some of the stuff we're doing in the tighter areas so we are going to get that sometime this episode on uh, his recommendation and give it a shot but uh, yeah I shall link uh, his channel in the description so please do go check out Artemis Prime fantastic guy great content and I just turned the truck off because I'm that good. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if this is going to hook up first. Now, obviously the way we're driving up here isn't going to be the way we completely drive up later on. We will get that done. Um, uh, you know, we'll come up that path next time and this will eventually be like field up here. So, let's see if it'll connect to this. I'm really hoping it will. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a pain, because that is a pin hitch too. How rude. Yeah. Bum. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll have to take that down with the old doggo later. Uh, first things first, then, oh, we'll go get that fruit. And like I say, we've got... It's all spread out across um, uh, different trees, because with seasons... It uh, it looks like these trees don't fill up as quickly as uh, they do on the normal game. So yeah, we've got 48% in this cherries box. So we should pop that on here. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking what we might do next time is just put in uh, put one box each under the trees, and then uh, this one pairs 40. 8% as well. Uh, yeah, basically just put one box each under there and um, then uh, go around with that box and pick up uh, all the fruit as it uh, comes out on the trees. Uh, or even just leave it there um, until uh, till the trees are ready, you know, until the trees are completely full and then just come around and take it off them. That might even be the way to do it. But we shall see. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get back. Uh, but for now, let's see what's next. Uh, oh, plums. Yep, 48 again. You know, I figure we might as well get this um, all put into the thing now. That way uh, we won't have to have to worry about it for a little while. And it gives us something different to do today. Plums, plums, apples, pears and cherries. Okay, and this box down here I think is another cherry tree. Let's have a look. Yes, cherries. Okay, splendid. So we'll make sure to pick this up from far enough away that we can run with it. There we go. Ah, that works. Ah, as long as we don't get too close to those trees, we should be fine. Uh, this one, we are going to put at this end. Actually, no, we don't need to. Uh, we'll pop it this way since it's not all going to fit properly if we do that then uh, we can at least get the other ones in that way 
and uh, yeah okay so back in the truck got one of those ones strap them down and as you can see we are slightly lopsided but that's okay so and of course I put them on totally the wrong side didn't I that just figures <laughs> okay turn the straps off hop out what have we got for the first one pairs ah got that one all twisted around oh dear that's not supposed to happen is it <laughs> That all went a bit wonky. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, and... Uh, last one. This one here. Okay, oh, we do still have the um, box of uh, honey that we need to get. Is there going to be room in that little spot there? I hope so. I didn't push that off, did I? No, lovely. Okay, let's run in here quick. Now, this one is going to be a little bit uh, more tricky to take. Now, I can um, strap these jars down, but I have noticed when you do that, they get a weird, um, uh, what do you call it, going, um, like a weird collision setup, and you can't then, like, put them on trailers or do anything, you know, normal with them, because it generates this very strange... Uh, like clipping uh, thing. So if I right. there we go. Okay, that's boxed around them. Get back in here. Put those straps all over everything. And in fact, actually, let's take the straps off for a second. If I can find the car, there we go. Do the sides up. Oh, they're smashing. That is. Okay, now we put the straps on. And off we go to the store with a truck full of fruit. Okay, here we are at the store. How are we going to do this? I could try and back in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give that a shot. So let's open the gate. Okay, now let's get this truck backed in and see what happens. It's not got the best turn in circle, so we'll have to go forwards and backwards just a bit. Oh, lovely, there goes the fruit. And the glass jars. I don't think we're at maximum fruit capacity, but it might be the uh, side of the thing that it's on. So let's just spin around quick and then go back in, see if that makes any difference. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, now that's interesting. It uh, appears to have not taken all the fruit. So let's back it up. Try not to ruin the gate or run into a tree or knock their trash can over. That would be incredibly rude of me to do that. So I shan't. <laughs> okay, let us... Uh, how did I put the sides down? Ah, there we go. Get the sides down quick. Let's just turn that off for now. Hop out and uh, have a look at the store. Okay, they are 100% on honey. And... Uh, 100% on all of that. Well, what are we missing? We're a little bit low on cherries. Everything else is 98. Huh. Curious. Okay, so what have we got that's still got stuff in there? Okay, pears. Oh dear, that has not gone well. Neither has that. But they did take it. Okay, so maybe we'll just have to be a bit more. Oh, I'm making a mess here. It's all going very wrong. <laughs> and it worked so well last time. Okay, pop that one in there. Okay, that's the last of our plums. So we throw that in there. 
Okay, they took that. Lovely. Plums can go back in here. Oh dear, something's fallen off the side there, isn't it? Oh yeah, everything fell off the side. Hopefully the honey didn't get broken. He says, smacking it into the gate. <laughs> uh, well, we'll leave this on their doorstep for them, so they can uh, take that whenever they wish. Yeah, there should be one more. Lovely. Lovely. There we go. I did pick it up that time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just pop that there for them. So yeah, it looks like they have started drawing out of the bottom one, so that's fine. And was there any more fruit we had up here? Oh yeah, some apples. Since I've already made a mess, let's bring them in there. Lovely. Yeah, see, that's why... Let's just throw that. That's cool. Uh, that might be uh, why it's better just to have one box each time. And uh, go to the... Oh, God, I'm knocking everything off. Fine. Get on there. Don't care how bad you look. Just get up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Stick that one up there as well. And these two can go back up there. Not fast anymore. On you go. You, we need to undo your strap. Come on. No, don't put that one on. Am I going to have to flip it up that way? And then we... There we go. Okay. On you go. Lovely. Okay. So, the next thing we are going to do is head down to the store and... Oh. Why does that look like I'm missing one? Oh, I put two on one side, didn't I? Okay, no problem. Let's do that up. Whatever. Straps down. <laughs> yeah, we're going to swing by the store quick and pick up that... Um, uh, what's it blade that we were talking about? And uh, we'll just get that loaded onto the truck with the uh, telehandler that's there, or front loader, rather. And uh, then we'll run that back up to the uh, the farm with some glass jars. So we'll do that quick, and uh, see you back at the farm in just a moment. Or, oh, well, a few moments. Five, ten minutes, something like that. But yeah, we'll be back at the farm shortly. Okay, here we are back at the farm. Now we've got uh, a couple of nice boxes of things to throw over there. Lovely. Let's get this one out. So we've lovely. That's oh they didn't strap down or they unstrapped or something. Well, that's okay. We can throw a couple of these into the thing here. Yeah, that needs a couple, so that's perfect. Okay, let's just go. Put that one in there. Lovely. Now this empty box can come out there for now and sit there. Lovely. Okay, now this one we are going to unstrap and just slide in here and pop it up under the bench there. Because when it runs out, we can just easily grab them and uh, don't lift up the bench. That would be really rude. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that that there for now. And in fact, this other one, yeah, see if I can show you what I mean about the... Uh, Thing. Oh no, it's not going to do it now, is it? How weird. No, it's absolutely not. The last time I did these, I put the um, uh, straps over it, and it did not like it. For some reason, it uh, threw out like some very peculiar, uh, what do you call them, um, like collisions, invisible collisions. So let's we'll leave that in the corner there for next time. Okay, and that's got a little bit of honey left in it. Not a mess. Oh god, it's almost full. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave that going. And next thing we need to do is get that little uh, doodad off the back there. So, let's so just cut to that, connect to it. Lovely. Oh, I see what it's. Yeah, it's. Okay, goodness. Oh yes, yeah, because this plough on the back has a um, separate set of functions and stuff as well. It, it just messes with things a little bit sometimes. 
Uh, but yeah, this uh, it's a little three-point attacher for front loaders. Um, it's really handy because you can just use it to pick up. Uh, I mean, anything with a three-point hitch on it, basically. Now it is a little bit. Uh, what's the word? I'm not sure what the word is, but <laughs> yeah, it, it can be a little bit finicky, I suppose, sometimes. But for the most part, it's actually pretty good. So we will pop this over here next to... Oh, we did switch out our stump grinder as well. I'm not sure. I don't think we've done that uh, on camera. So we'll just leave that here. Off you get. Come on. Oh, wait, no, it's one of these. So it's... Uh, is it that? No. This. Come on. There we go. So to find the button. Um, yeah, we got the uh, the bio belts stump grinder in the end. Um, I think we'd had it before on this tractor, and it's just a little bit finicky because it's a low horsepower tractor, really, for that uh, stump grinder. But on the back of the dog, it works a treat. It's really, really properly good. So I am happy with that. Uh, this little front loader attachment. We are just going to drop off down here again, out the way. Lovely. And should probably turn that truck off as well for now. Forgot I'd left that running. There we go. But yeah, we'll just leave that down here with those on it for now. Uh, we're not going to need those for too much longer. Uh, not for in for the nearest future, I mean. So let's see, where are we going to? Now, I'm in two minds about keeping that as a small field, or just extending it down here. Because we could even leave that as a little track running through to the uh, the upper area. We'll have to have a look at that. Let's pop that there, right in the way of everything. Is it? No, oh, no, not quite. We'll just run straight up there if we need to. Okay, so next thing to do is take the old dog, with its interesting bucket weight, down to the um, uh, sawmill with all this wood. Okay, here we are coming down to the old sawmill. See how much we can get for these uh, massive load of logs. I'm hoping upwards of like 35 grand. That would be lovely. Because we've got a few things we're going to have to buy at some point. I'm thinking about maybe getting a uh, proper lorry to carry this thing because it might be a little bit more stable than the uh, dog with a dolly. And we got, oh, 36 grand. Not bad. I'll take that. Well, yeah, we did take that. And, of course, I forgot to unstrap it before we uh, sold it, because a couple of times I'd done that, and uh, there'd been, like, one floating log up in the air or something. So, yeah, we'll get this back to the farm. Uh, I think there was a couple more odds and ends that needed loading on it, and then... Uh, We'll get down to uh, cutting some more trees and uh, start plowing out some fields, I think. Oh, we can try out that new uh, new little bit of kit we got as well. Uh, yeah, maybe leave this down the bottom, go a little bit further out and uh, tow the, um, the, the logs down, line them up and then just grab them with the old digger and... Oh, did I go the wrong way? I went all the wrong way. Whoopsie! Now, well, let's just go through the woods here. No problem. Uh, well, while I get lost in the woods, uh, we shall do a, a fantastically short cut to uh, back to the farm. <laughs> Alrighty. We just uh, unhitched the dolly weight attachment thing there. So let's uh, head over here and grab our new uh, fancy new little tool thing. <laughs> now, it's not quite as wide as the tractor. But hopefully that won't be a problem. Okay. Plug in the PTO. No cables or anything to attach. But uh, uh, this is a very interesting little bit of kit. So let's go have a look at it in action. I don't think we've got too much of the wet logs up here at the moment. So we may cut down a couple of other trees quick as well. But uh, yeah, we got those ones there. And, yeah, let's 
Turn this off. Give it a quick try out, shall we? So, we want to grab these ones and as many of those as we can. Let's back her up. And, uh, now, I have tested this because I had to set up some of the controls just to make it a little bit easier. So, I'll go there, drop it down a little bit, and get stuck in the engine. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with this one. Just come up to it, press a button, and it hooks up a chain. Uh, let's see if we can get it over to this one. Oh, we can. Lovely. That might be a bit far away, though. So, yeah, let's not chain that one up. No, unchain it. There we go. And this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Now, let's see if we can drag them. And we can. Now, there's supposed to be a winch system on this, but I'm not quite sure what it does. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, we've pulled them out a bit, so let's rechain them quick. Or well, actually, no, let's unchain that one. Back in here. And just use this to nudge them together a bit. There we go. Lovely. Just get around these piles of sawdust. Don't have a lot of grip when you're driving in sawdust. <laughs> okay. Just gently push them together. Ah, there's a tree stump in the way. Okay, perfect. Not a problem. Well, we've got a little group here, so... Let us now attach these. Let's go with this one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That's a little spindly one. Okay, we'll go with those. Come on, Mr. Dog, let's see what you can do. Nice. Oh, in fact, if I'd have thought about it, let's see if we can just back this up a little bit. A little bit of trouble backing it up there. There we go. Why not attach these ones as well since we're here? Lovely. <laughs> Now we've got a big old bunch of sticks. Hey, you know what? The dog is fetching a stick. Hey! Good dog. <laughs> okay, now we are going to need these the other way round. Just to get the... Uh, um, stuff sorted. The uh, thick ends in the right side of this thing. Let us pop it about there. And if we unhitch that one, that takes them all off. And just back this up a tiny bit. Nudge some of these together. Lovely. And then we can just get the old, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Liebherr 622 down. Smashing. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like that. So, yeah. I'll just leave this here for now. Leg it up here. Grab this thing. See, now, this just saves having to, um... Like, either try and drive the lorry up here. Or, um... Have the... Uh, let's take this one with us as well. Since it's here. 
I don't think we actually get much for these, money-wise. But, uh, it might be worth just plopping on the trailer for for something. Or we could always just grind it into wood chips. Either, either works fine. And you cannot see a thing out of the front of this. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, in the real world, obviously, you would focus past that grate, but, uh, yeah, that's that's not great. <laughs> oh, a pun. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Some logs. And we may not be able to get all of these at once. No, we got some and that's fine. And of course they are slightly in the way of the thing now. But that's okay. That's just my poor positioning. If we do that, and... Make it look really, really realistic, of course. It's very realistic, this. The way I'm doing this is totally how you would do it in the real world, of course. <laughs> okay, drop them off. Lovely. At least being a tracked thing, this thing turns around pretty much on a dime, so that's handy. Get these last two. There we go. I wonder if these we can do with the claw attachment. No, let's not risk it. We've clawed them a little bit. That's fine. Grab it with the strap system. I mean, yeah, this trailer's looking a little bit flatter now. That's good. That is a good thing. How straight are we on here? We are not straight at all. Okay, that's a bit better. A little tilt. Open it up. Let it go. Lovely. Smashing. Well, I think that worked quite well. So if we leave this here, let's turn that off. Grab the old doggeroo here. Lift that up again. And now we are going to carry on and do some of these. Get some of this, these trees cleared out a bit. Make some space. Uh, probably grind out these stumps as well and pick up the. Uh, oh, this one. That's all good. Uh, yeah, grind out the stumps, pick up some of the sawdust, get it out of the way, all, all that sort of fun stuff, and uh, see about uh, getting some more logging done. Oh, found another tree stump, how nice. Buried in the thing there. How rude. <laughs> but yes, so I shall see you once we've got a uh, full load of trees down there, I think. Oops, turn that one off. Off we go.
Okay, here we are now. We've got some tidying up done. Got some equipment moved out of the way. Yeah, I've got some stuff set up up there, up on the uh, the top of the hill. So for now, it's time to plough out this field a bit. And we're going to do a tiny bit of damage to this uh, this crop here. If I could figure out what button I'm pressing, that would be lovely. Uh, where are we? There we go. We're going to lower the uh, bar down on the back of this. And set it to create fields and drop it down onto the ground there. Yeah, you can see it's doing a little bit of damage, but that's okay. It's not enough that it's going to cause us a real problem in the long run. But this is our new field. And we are making it happen. Now it's going to be on a little bit of an, an angle here, obviously. But uh, that's nothing we can't cope with, I don't think. I mean, if it turns out like harvesters and seeders and stuff are getting uh, all sorts of getting into issues up there, then you know we'll, we'll worry about that as we get there. But, uh, there we go. And come down towards the road and turn it about there. Yeah, there we go. We'll leave ourselves a little bit of space by the road for like, maybe a fence or something. Or uh, just some grass, maybe. Like grass in that area a little bit. And we got to... Now, those two little trees there we might take out and just leave that uh, one big one. We'll see about that in the future. Uh, once everything's sort of sorted out. And, you know, it just occurred to me I was pondering on leaving that as a way through. I think for now we'll just uh, do it up to this field and make it one long uh, one long field edge, I think. There we go, start there. Now, I don't think we're actually into that field, but if we do take off just a little bit of that row, I think we'll be okay. Now, like I say, it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't reduce the yield that much from what we've got. Yeah, we've got a, a pretty solid yield, I think, going on here. So let's just lift that up for a second. Let's see if I can just fix that little spot in there. That's, that'll do. Okay, oh yeah, it didn't uh, quite catch the uh, roller on it there. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, it's not here. look dark in this corner now. Well, it's 7 o'clock and it is early autumn, so... Well, I guess the uh, the time is now to say uh, I shall plough on with this. <laughs> yes, we all knew there was going to be a dad joke in there somewhere. Or a very bad farming-based pun. <laughs> but yeah, I shall carry on with this. Uh, we'll get this all sorted. Oh, the roller is not uh, connecting properly there. Maybe it's just not... Uh, maybe it's the terrain or it wasn't quite down all the way there. Missed a spot. Uh, but yeah, we'll carry on with this, uh, we'll get this done, we'll get some more of that area up there cleared out and get another field put in there. Um, and like I say, some of that we'll do off camera, because it's just the same as what we're doing here. And uh, that's fine with me. Um, and then uh, obviously when it comes time to do like planting and stuff, you know, we'll definitely be back for that. Uh, and anything else interesting and different from what we've been doing. Um, obviously with uh, Farming Simulator 22 right around the corner uh, we're going to have to try and uh, get to the end of this series fairly promptly. Yeah, it, essentially once we uh, we get to sort of harvest season as it were we'll have completed the uh, main goal I believe. If I remember correctly the um, uh, task we were given at the very start of this was to um, make a working farm. Uh, I think it was within a year as well which uh, shouldn't be too big of a problem. I mean, you know, we've got equipment. Uh, we're doing a lot of logging at the moment, not a lot of actual farming, so to speak. But, uh, you know, we've got the... Uh, oops, I'm raising that thing up again. <laughs> we've got the uh, two fields already that are coming into uh, to fruit soon. Uh, bees, we've got trees. Yeah, fruit is a farming thing, of course, you know can't deny that at all. Um, the honey sort of is, and that's you know, it's a part of the farm. Yeah, it's going to hopefully uh, encourage our uh, crops to bloom and 
um, yield better. Obviously, in this game it doesn't, but in the real world it does, and in Farming Simulator 22 it does. Or it shall. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll wrap this up here and keep on trucking. And uh, is that a bit that I've missed? That's a bit that I've missed. I'll have to catch that in a minute. Um, yeah, so yeah, future plans wise, um, it will continue this until it, it reaches its natural conclusion. Um, there will be some skipped days, obviously, if, if we're just doing the same stuff over and over again. That's you know, that's something I can skip easily enough because you don't don't want to see that all the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, and um, this is probably well, I don't know what we're going to do in uh, 22 when it comes out yet. But uh, yeah, we're not just going to abandon this or um, uh, just sort of throw in the towel, as it were, and call it finished, even if it's not. So long as we've completed the uh, the main goals on that first task we had, then I think we can count it as good. We haven't got there yet, I don't think, but I think we're pretty close to. So we shall see. But anyway, on that note, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then please uh, give us a like and hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to leave any comments, they are always welcome. And uh, sharing this video would be uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, with that, I uh, thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. really, really honestly do. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you next time. On the continuing adventures of how hard can it be. <laughs> Not quite sure that makes sense. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. I hope to see you next time, everyone. <laughs> Cheerio.